Skyforce HD capturing the aftermath of a dangerous drive. A car colliding with a daycare van, leaving pieces of twisted metal in the street. This morning, several young children shaken up and one woman is dead. Simmons' Alex DePrado has more information on the survivors in this crash. Several people injured. Seven Sky Force with a bird's eye view as children involved in an accident between this school van and Ultima are helped by paramedics. We heard a loud boom. Before ambulances arrived, Gregory Davis ran to help get three of the six children out of the van. It was about three that they were just handing kids to people and I just stayed there until we got them all off the bus. The Broward Sheriff's Office says the van was rear-ended along Northwest 27th Avenue in Pompano Beach when this Ultima slammed into it. The two vehicles were sent skidding across 9th Street, the female driver of the car died. I saw the van coming to the intersection, slowly slowing down to make this left-hand turn. When I seen the blue Ultima just speeding like 80 miles per hour and collided right into the back of the um, the van right here. The six children between six and 10 years old were on board the van. They, along with the driver, have minor injuries. The children were on their way home from the Kidsville Early Learning Center. It's the aftercare, so they pick up from several of the elementary schools. And the nearby Charles Drew Resource Center. It's devastating, and these little kids watched someone die in front of their face. Investigators are now trying to figure out why the driver of the Ultima rear-ended the van and if she was distracted. They're going to look at speed. They're going to look at whether or not she was distracted, whether she had a medical issue right before the impact. Um, there do appear to be skid marks in the, in the road, indicating that maybe at the last minute she did see that daycare van and tried to swerve to avoid it. The name of the driver of the Ultima hasn't been released while her family is notified. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Alex DePrado. Today in Florida,